Leos. Welcome to the first half of December love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I'm just going to jump right in and tell you, guys, tell you guys what I got for the meditative session. If you have any questions or curiosities on how to further understand what I'm saying, or maybe some of the terms that I'm using, what signs you should watch, how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. Okay. All right. So Leos, uh, the first thing I saw when I meditate on your energy, I actually saw like an ice cave. I was like, oh, that's very not Leo. <laughs> so it could be someone you're connecting with. So keep that in mind. Or it could be someone within your environment, okay? When I pick up on energy, it's energy in and around you. So sometimes it's not energy that you're experiencing directly. It could be about someone else, okay? But someone's feeling really alone. Someone's feeling a little left out in the cold. Someone's feeling really, um, like, isolated. Very, like, five of pentacles energy. So, Leo, maybe someone ghosted you. Maybe, if, like, someone's giving you the cold shoulder. Um, Leo, I also feel that the weather is really affecting you right now. I was picking up on some really sleepy Leos, okay? And I feel like you're probably just in a really gloomy area or it's been raining a lot where you are. If that's the case, get yourself a UV light. Leos, you're very sensitive to sun or lack of sun, okay? So just know that. Um, but yeah, I yeah, I just feel like some, you're, I don't think it's intentional. I don't think you're intentionally isolating yourself. You might just feel really ignored by someone, okay? Or just not really included. It's a really kind of lonely energy, Leo. I gotta be honest. It's like, it was, it was kind of breaking my heart. And I sensed it in the par partner reading that I did for Patreon. And that made me cry. Like, we went real deep into that. And I was like, oh my God. Anyway, Leo. So there's definitely that kind of energy. Um, I also feel that some of you are, are really being faced with temptation in the first half of December. So, you know, maybe you're just really working on getting healthier. I feel like it was very devil energy. So it could be um some karma that's coming up for you but it could also just be tempting three-dimensional things that feel really good but are not exactly good for you okay and it is holiday season so for those of you losing weight yeah it can be hard <laughs> it can be <coughs> excuse me it could be really hard maybe some of you are trying to drink less maybe some of you are trying to quit smoking you know it's that kind of stuff um so i'm gonna download about this oh ew. um interesting leo's you or someone you're connecting with, uh, finding yourself in a karmic dynamic, okay? Like a, I'm hearing loop, like a karmic loop, okay? Um, I do feel for a lot of you, this is actually a new person. Interesting. This is a new person. Some of you, it's someone who's been in your life for a good while here. It's a looping though. There's a looping, there's a cycle, it's a pattern, it needs to be broken. <laughs> it really needs to be broken. It really needs to be broken. Um, and keep in mind, guys, I've talked about Saturn and Capricorn and all that kind of energy that we're going to be experiencing in what we've been experiencing. But we've been having like big surges of it through the year. December is going to be a really big one. And then February is going to be a massive, massive surge of Capricorn energy. It's like not even funny. Um, that's a lot of Saturn energy, a lot of karmic shit. Okay. So if we don't deal with our our things, our karmic things, uh, we can really get smacked in the face, okay? So just keep that in mind. I think some of you who are in that situation, it's not for all of you for sure. It's definitely like a small group of you. Just be mindful of that. Like, I, I think you are. I think you know. I think deep down in your core, you know it's like, oh, this feels familiar. Oh, this is a pattern of mine. How did I get back in this pattern? I thought I broke this. Or, oh, no. <laughs> I thought this was like not the same as everything else that I've been involved with before. Yeah, so I think some of you are really aware. Just be sure to break it, whatever you got to do to get out of that and deal with it in a healthy way. Just make sure you do that, okay? All right, Leo, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with the pre-shuffle as always. Posing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Leo. Oh, come on. Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please include any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. They're bringing me back to that isolated feeling again. Yeah, Leo, I feel like you could be ignoring someone. You could have put someone out in the cold. Um, you could have cut someone off or just stopped talking to them or started talking to them a lot less. Or someone could have done this to you, but they're bringing my attention back to that. I think that's going to be a big part of this reading, a big part of this reading here. You could also be trying to shut out these karmic relationships or karmic dynamics. Um, again, I understand why, but just make sure you're doing it in health. Like, close the door healthily. You can't ignore it. Like, yeah, let's go down this road, guys. Let's go down this road. You can't ignore people. Like, you fit. yes, you technically can. But if it's someone you've been dealing with, it's not like a total stranger you really got to like take the initiative and be like, look, 
I think you're cool, this side or the other. I wish you luck in life. Let's just close the door here. We've had a good run. You know, just be like, take that, take that high road in doing that. That's how you close out karmic doors here, okay? If you just go ghost or go silent, it's still there. You didn't deal with it, you know? Keep in mind, someone could be doing this to you, all right? Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Hmm. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Some of you guys are yelling at me. Okay, if you guys did, if you took that initiative to close the door, then kudos to you. I'm talking to those who haven't done that. Some of y'all were telling me I've done that. Okay, that's cool. Good, good. <laughs> Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need... Ooh, Seven of Pentacles, Taurian Energy, Evaluation. Evaluation, taking a time out. Oh, this person feels sad. Yeah, Leo, I, I feel like this is your energy. Like I said, it can't be vice versa. I'm getting a really bummed out energy with the Seven of Pentacles. Really bummed out energy. Some of you are realizing you've invested in something and it was like not exactly a waste of time, but... Oh, man, why does this feel so emotional, Leo? It wasn't exactly a waste of time, but it definitely didn't bring you what you thought it would. Definitely didn't bring you what, what you thought it would. I feel a need to like want, Jesus. I also feel a desire to wanting to invest elsewhere. You can actually be looking at investment investments. It is pentacles, it's, it can also be money, but I feel like it's about time and effort. I do feel like it's about time and effort. Some of you are wondering like, maybe I should, you know, cut my losses and start investing elsewhere or in another person or in another situation. Yeah, whatever you've been investing in, you're not really happy with it. This could also be an old energy here. Please include any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo. Whoa. Okay, okay. Card explosion. Take the two cards that are facing up. We have, wow. Nine of Pentacles uh, with the Four of Wands here. This is having a very a very solid foundation on your own, a foundation that you made by yourself, something you built up alone. Leo, I feel like someone here is wanting to invest in this, or maybe someone's wondering, like, you know, maybe I should cut cut out people who I've been investing in and just invest in myself, just build myself up. I feel disappointment here. I feel like Leo, if this is your energy. And you're wanting to just build something up on your own, like build up your own business, get your own house, get your own apartment, that sort of thing. You're really disappointed about the people you've been spending time with, okay? Or the people who've been gobbling up a lot of your time, or maybe you've been trying to get a business or project started, and the people you've been doing that with, it hasn't been working out. I feel actually like an emotional reaction here, emotional. So whatever it was, it was or who they are, you you cared. You cared. And Leo's, you don't do anything you don't care. You don't you don't put energy into anything or anyone that you don't care about. Leo's just you can't budge a Leo. If they don't want to do something, they don't want to do it. But you clearly wanted wanted to make something happen. And I feel like an emotional disappointment with this. I do. Like a major disappointment of like, wow, like, why do I want to cry? Um, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. So yeah, some of you, it is about making something on your own. Now, Leo, some of you, this is someone you're connecting with who's looking at you and your independence and how amazing you are and like damn i should have invested in that person or i want to invest in that person but whoever's in this evaluation of their investment mode they're disappointed and they're emotional about it so leo's decide which situation applies to you this is just pre-shuffle so sometimes we get extra messages that aren't a part of the reading so just know that please mm. Mm. cherry in reverse can't see your energy something has no more steam I had something that's interesting. I don't think someone, it's something. So that could be a relationship, a business, a project. It's out of steam. No more fuel left in the tank. Ooh, hangman in reverse, realizing that. Yeah, yeah, this is someone realizing that whatever they've put, been putting time into, it's, it's, it's done or there shouldn't be any more time put into it. And there's a real sense of like emotional upsetness about it because this person really cared about what they were investing in or who they were investing in, but it feels like a thing. It does feel like a thing and there could have been people involved in this thing that an investment was being put towards. 
this person for some is considering just going solo and building up something on their own in that case all that energy would be you leo for some for others this person is looking at you leo and in your independence and your strength like damn that's where i need to put my time and money or that's where i need to put in my time and effort with that person because they clearly know what they're doing okay leo let's go ahead and get into the actual reading here and like I always say, it's energy, so it can be vice versa. All right, so as we get into this, guys, please know not all messages are for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, all right? So if it's not your story, it's not your story, and that's okay. We've got a lot of great readers here on YouTube, so go ahead and check them out. Like I said, I do get multiple messages sometimes for different people. So if it's not resonating just yet, hang in there about halfway through. You'll know definitely halfway through if it's resonating for you or you're going to get something, okay? Even if you hear one thing that resonates, Take that home with you because it's resonating for a reason. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. So like I said, messages can be reversed or vice versa. We are reading energies, not gender. So don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is for the first half of December. But keep in mind, time is linear as time is not linear either. Okay. So whenever you're gutted to watch a reading, even if it's time stamped a year, a year ago, that's when you're gutted to watch it. Okay, Leos. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages? For, okay, this is interesting because something weird happened in the partner reading and they're bringing it back up for me. Not the exact same thing, but the color. So I was talking about different colors and I was talking about um, candle magic. So I like to use black and I like to use white to repel negative energies. Um, they were showing me like all these different things in black, like clothing, drapery, things like that. Uh, Leo, some of you might feel like you've got a lot of negative energy heading your way or on you grabbing at you whatever it is so just be mindful that if you go that route of trying to protect yourself and repelling negative energies if you want to use candle magic black and white are great i use both as a combo um but black is more powerful just be careful to when you're setting your intention with using black okay because it is more powerful it could really backfire if your intention is not true all right i don't know why that came up for you guys i feel like some of you guys might be dealing with that and like i said i was getting that temptation energy oh leo yeah i was getting that temptation energy um, some people might be sending negative energy your way. And Leo, if you shut anybody out, like you put someone in an ice cave, they might be sending you that energy. All right, so just be mindful of that. Ooh, two of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Lightening the load, putting stuff down. Putting stuff down. Something's become too much. Yeah, something's become too heavy. Leo, I do feel it's relating to that investment of time. Whatever you put your time into, you're ready to drop it. You're ready to drop it. It's like you know that it's run out of steam. A relationship, a project, a business, whatever it is. A goal even. Maybe it was a goal of yours. There's no more steam left in the tank. It's, yeah, you're, you're putting it down. Any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? Ooh, Emperor. Oh, nice. Aries energy can also be Taurus for me as a reader. It is Mars energy as well. Uh, divine masculine energy here. Yeah, Leo, I feel like this is you taking control. Even if you're a female, you're in this Emperor energy of taking control and putting shit down that no longer serves you. That's not a good use of your time. Inefficient. Inefficient comes to mind, actually. Inefficient. And like I said, it can be vice versa. Any other messages for Leo? Some of you are definitely a business owner that's coming in really strong. Some of you are definitely a business owner here. Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? I don't think you were juggling people, Leo. If you were, I think you were just dating. I don't think you were juggling people. But if you were, you're no longer juggling. You'll be making a choice here. Any other messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of December? Now we have... Ooh, Leo, five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. You guys have three cards for the first half of December. This is going to be a, a fun read. When we get like few cards like this, I can really go into it. I can really go into it. So I'm excited. Overall, we do have nine of swords, Gemini energy. Oh my. 
with the chariot, Cancerian energy. Ooh, Leo. Okay. So taking control and dropping something or someone because it's not it's not a good use of your time. It's inefficient. I'm getting inefficient first and foremost. And five of cups in reverse, it's something that, like I said, there's an emotional tie there, right? This is for the person who was investing, right? Whoever was invested, we'll just call them the investor. We'll call them the investor. I do think it's you. It could be someone else. Um, there was an emotional tie to this and it's to, and they're trying to get over it. This emperor is trying to get over it. And with nine of swords in the chariot, yeah, there's a sense of like, okay, now things can move along. But with that nine of swords, I get, I'm actually getting a lot of sadness with this. A lot of sadness, and a lot of anxiety. For some, this could be about an actual move, about an actual move here. Okay. Yeah. It could have been maybe the thing you were dropping was your environment and you had to change shit up, you know, but why is there anxiety behind this? Yeah, there is a lot of emotion in whatever was being invested in. And it's like understanding that, wow, if I need progress in my life or if I want to have a proper return on my investment, energetically speaking, or with money, I have to drop this thing or this person so I can keep going. So I can keep going. And this person's having a really hard time with that. This emperor's having a really hard time with that, but they know it's the right choice. Oh, man. Yeah, they know it's the right choice. So let's look at the two of pentacles in reverse. Let me use right or wait for this one. It feels like a, it's so interesting because there's so much emotion wrapped up in this, but it feels like it was a practical decision. A practical decision made about a, like a very tangible thing that had a lot of emotion put into it. Jesus. Okay. So I'm at two of pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing Virgo. So I'm at two of pentacles in reverse. So I'm at two of pentacles in reverse for Leo. Yeah, now I'm hearing, I can't stop hearing Virgo now. So I'm at two of pentacles in reverse for Leo. Regarding love for the first half of December. Clear the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Regarding love for the first half of December. This was a really hard choice. Clear the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Regarding love for the first half of December. That's too many, Spirit. Thank you. So I've got two of pentacles in reverse. Bigger and better. Hearing bigger and better. Yeah, I yeah, I feel just a switch of investment of time. Leo, whatever you're not investing in anymore, you're investing in something that's bigger, that's better, that's more promising, something that will give you a return on your investment of time. I feel time more so than anything, but it can also be money. So I've got two of pentacles in reverse. And just like an emperor, you're not showing it. You're not showing how hard of a decision this was to make. Oh, boy. The star. Wow. Aquarian energy. It was the right thing to do. Hold on. Oh. Got some cards down here, too. Whoa. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was the right thing, Leo. We have Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Four swords in reverse. Libra. Oh, looky there. Looky, looky, we made another reappearance here. Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Cancerian with Virgo. Yeah, a lot of Virgo energy here. So it's funny I kept hearing that. Yeah, it was the right decision. It was the right decision with the star card. Um, yeah, some of you just followed your intuition with that. You just knew. You knew. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's interesting that the Four of Swords is in reverse here. I feel a little bit of like a breaking of silence. Yeah, I feel a breaking of silence, like coming out of that state of contemplation. Yeah, that's what it is. Coming out of the state of contemplation of like, okay, I know exactly what I want. I want my Ten of Pentacles. How do I get my Ten of Pentacles? What I've been investing in right now is not going to get me there. I thought it was. It's not. It's okay. It, it happens, right? And then you're looking at a Nine of Pentacles person. Leo, this could be where it'll be you if it's vice versa. Like, okay, that's an equal that I that can help me get to a 10 because this person's at the nine. Just need one more pentacle to get to the 10. Yeah, I feel like you're just switching up an investment. The nine of pentacles could just be like another business owner. If this is all about business for you. Some it's purely about your money. Okay, others it's just about your long-term stability. Yeah, I feel like you're partnering up with someone here. 
if you were investing in a person in the past, it was it just wasn't a good investment. Either it just wasn't a good fit or they couldn't bring to the table what you needed to get to this 10. This is what you're focusing on. And now you've gotten the clarity and you're ready to go into action mode. Yeah, you're ready to go into action mode. For some of you, this is just about you, but with that two of cups, you're realizing that uh, some of you are realizing you can't do it alone. All right. So let's quickly paraphrase here. I don't want to confuse you guys. So some of you were investing with a person to get to the Ten of Pentacles. It wasn't happening. Ran out of steam. You couldn't get there with this person. So some of you meditated on it, tried to think about it. What's the best way of going about this to get my Ten of Pentacles? That person over there, that Nine of Pentacles person, they're going to help me get to my Ten in a business sense or just your long-term stability, okay, as far as partnering up with someone. Now, others of you... We're investing in a project or something of that nature, maybe even just going solo at something and trying to really get to a goal here. And you were doing it alone and it wasn't working and you needed to change up the way you were using your time. And you're like realizing, oh shit, maybe I can't do it by myself. I could be pretty bad all by myself, but maybe I actually need a helping hand here. Some of you are realizing to get to the 10, sometimes it requires other people. Okay, Let's see what else wants to come out for the two of pentacles in reverse. Ten of the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, Five of Wands, Leo. Okay, okay. I don't like this energy. This feels a little bit like a struggle. I feel a struggle with this. A struggle. For some of you where this is, um, you know, you want to invest in a person or someone's trying to invest in you. For some of you, there's a history here. So yeah, some of you there's a history here and there's been a little bit more silence than normal or there's been silence in general. And it's kind of like, well, if I approach this person, maybe I need to prepare myself for a fight or an argument. That's for some of you. But others, I'm just getting a bigger, a big struggle to make this decision. Talk about Two of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Talk about Two of Pentacles in reverse for Leo for the first half of December. Yeah, overall energy, we have that Nine of Wands. Tired, man. Yeah, whatever you've been investing in, Leo, it's made you tired. It's made you really tired. Like, you, like, not to the point where you're ready to give up, but just, like, you're recognizing something has to give because this is not working. And you realize that. You realize that. Whether you have to get a helping hand because you've been doing this alone, okay? Or you've been investing in someone who's really been making it harder than it has to be and not allowing you to get to that 10. And you're like, okay, I'm going to invest in that person over there. But with this five of wands, we also have the magician in reverse come out here. Magician in reverse is mercurial. So Virgo gem could also be aqua or scorp. I feel like this is the struggle. This is just the struggle to get to your 10 of pentacles. Yeah, it just, it wasn't happening. The way you were doing it, the way you're going about it, you weren't going to get there. And this is you making a, an action plan, a change of course, so to speak, in order to make sure that you don't flounder, to make sure that you don't, you know, you don't sink in whatever it is you've been wanting to work towards regarding your Ten of Pentacles. All right. Wow. Very intensely. Very intense. All right. So let's look at the Emperor. Let's look at you. Let's see what else we can get going on here. Um, let me use Crystal Visions for this one. Climb up the Emperor. Some of you, this is a total change of career, a change of business, uh, maybe even change of like, maybe you've been wanting to get a home, you know, now you're realizing, shit, I can't get a home where I want, or I can't get the home I want because this, that, or the other. Time to change it up, you know? Talk about the emperor. Talk about the emperor for Leo for the first half of December. Yeah, some of you, the person you're approaching, whoever the Nine of Pentacles is, some of you definitely have a history with this person, for sure. I can feel it. Because it can feel hesitation. I have a little bit of hesitation, like, ooh, can I, can I, sw almost like, can I swallow my pride? Interesting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I was having coffee. Um, yeah, it's almost a little bit, like, a little hesitation, like, can I swallow my pride a little bit to approach this person? That's really interesting. Tell me about the Emperor. Either way, there's a person that's going to be involved with you on this Ten of Pentacles, Leo. You might have started out alone. Some of you started out with another person. But you'll be you'll be ending up talking with a Nine of Pentacles individual. Tell me about the Emperor for Leo for the first half of December. Tell me about the Emperor for Leo regarding love for the first half of December. 
Sign with the Emperor for Leo for the first half of December. Whoa, okay. Page of Swords. I like that. I really like that. That's basically just analyzation. Analyzation, moving with clarity, speaking with clarity, speaking with truth. Sign with the Emperor. And like I said, Leos, I feel like you're the Emperor here, but it can be vice versa. This Emperor's been watching this Nine of Pentacles. For sure. This Emperor's been watching this Nine of Pentacles because this Emperor's been trying to focus on their 10 and why they're not getting to their 10, realizing decisions they have to make to get to the 10, which is cutting someone out or a way of doing things or even just to totally changing the game plan on what the 10 of Pentacles will look like for this Emperor. And they're realizing that they need a helping hand or that this person's the key to that. This feels very business related for most of you. Tell me about the emperor. This could even be like your boss is looking at you as opposed to someone else to get the job done. You know, Leo, maybe like, you know, maybe you're just the Nine of Pentacles and someone else got the promotion over you or someone, you know, was chosen for a certain job or a certain project. And now your boss is like, damn, this person's not getting their shit together. <laughs> I need Leo. You know, it could definitely be that. Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. Ooh, Six of Cups. Oh my God, where's the explosion coming from? Scorpionic energy. Ah, I'm getting emotion with this. Oh my God, this is a very emotional Emperor. I'm very surprised. They're doing a really good job of not showing people though. They got a lot going on in here. A lot, but they are not showing it. Yeah, Six of Cups, it's what's important to this person. What's really special to this person? What's really uh, significant? What's meaningful to this person? That's what that's what this Ten of Pentacles is to this emperor. It's something they have a lot of emotion for. And something that just means the world to them. It could be starting a family. It could be business. It could just be a home. Whatever the Ten of Pentacles is to this emperor in your in your own situation, okay? And for those looking at this nine of for this for those where this emperor is watching this nine of pentacles, where there's a history. We do have six of cups here where there's a history. This emperor has a lot of respect for this nine of pentacles and I'm getting fondness, a lot of fondness for this nine of pentacles person. Time about the emperor. Time about the emperor for Leo. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got a queen of cups in reverse. Cancer, could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the four of pentacles, Capricorn. Someone's closed off. Wow, someone is closed off emotionally here. Oh, wow. They're look yeah, this is this is where that hesitation's coming in. This emperor is looking at this 9 of pentacles like they're not going to let me in. <laughs> they're not going to trust me. They're not going to trust me. Yeah, for some there's definitely history here with this 9 of pentacles and the emperor. This emperor is afraid this 9 of pentacles person will not trust them, that they won't open the gates. Essentially. Tell me about the Emperor for Leo. Tell me about the Emperor for Leo regarding love for the first half of December. Let's see here. Ah. Ah. Nine of Swords with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This Emperor's really worried that they can't come together with this Nine of Pentacles individual. They're really worried they won't be able to come together with them. Yeah, they yeah, they feel shut out. Yeah, that that that's there's that ice cave energy. Yeah, this emperor feels really shut out from this nine of pentacles person. Like they're not gonna let me in, they're not gonna trust me, but they're watching with fondness. And also this like constant analyz analyzation energy. This emperor could be um have a really strong air placement, but like I said, Leo, I feel like it's you. If you're the nine of pentacles, you're the nine of pents. But yeah, I feel a heavy air energy with this emperor. Yeah, like yeah, they're not gonna let me in. They're not gonna let me in. Overall energy. King of, King of Swords, almost like King of Cups. King of Swords, Aquarian could also be Gemini or Libra underneath that. Yeah, we've got the Five of Pentacles. This Emperor wants to work with this Nine of Pence in a business sense or invest in this Nine of Pentacles person to get them to their 10, whatever the 10 is for the Emperor here. But yeah, they're, they feel strongly that this Nine of Pentacles person is not going to let them in. They know they have to try, though. They know they have to try. They know they have to try. They're struggling with that, though. How do I try? Yeah, I'm getting the how. All right, let's look at the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I'll pull some Oracle cards. Mm. Like, what do I want? Oh, you know what? Let's do Gilded. Let's do Gilded. Turn the 
five of pentacles in reverse five of cups <laughs> i have five of pentacles in reverse that's still that like energy of being isolated in the ice cave right and wanting to come out here so i have five of cups Cups, cups, <laughs> five of cups in reverse. Be funny if the five of pens came out. Do I have five of cups in reverse? Wouldn't be the first time. Do I have five of cups in reverse for Leo for the first half of December? Do I have the five of cups in reverse for Leo? I'm curious about this nine of pentacles person. We might take a look at that person when I'm done looking at this. Do I have five of cups in reverse for Leo? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. Ooh, this emperor might need a little bit of a timeout to recover a little bit from having to make this choice. Because I feel strongly it's like an investment was stopped for a potential investment with this Nine of Pentacles person. It's almost like a need to heal, a needing to heal. Because I'm almost even like getting like a stopping of work for a short time. This person might even go on a little bit of vacay to deal with things. Some of this five of cups in reverse. Yeah, they don't, yeah. They don't feel any energy is being put into them. This emperor, like, this nine of pentacles person is not going to look at me. They're not going to give me their energy. Some of the five of cups in reverse for Leo. Some of the five of cups in reverse for Leo for the first half of December. All right, now we have, yeah. Mm hmm. Four of Pence, Cappy with the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra, could also be air or water. Yeah, it's just more the same energy that this feminine energy is really shutting this emperor out. But like I said, Leos, you could be the emperor here. We read energy, not gender. And I've been noticing that, like a lot of, just based off the comments, gendered females are in masculine energy and like vice versa for men. Um, I've been noticing that lately, but you know who you are in the story. But yeah, with the Four of Pentacles and that Queen of Swords in reverse, this is like, they're not letting me in. They're not going to let me in. This emperor is convi almost convinced that this, this feminine energy is not going to let this person in. Over energy, we have seven of wands in reverse Leo energy. I, I can't even defend my actions is what I just got with that. They feel like they can't defend their actions. Oh, this is kind of sad. They don't feel brave enough. Oh, but they're an emperor. Hold on a second, guys. Hmm. I can't defend myself. Oh, I don't want to cry. I can't defend myself. What the hell is that about? Okay, I got to see what that's about. Um, I'm going to use Little Norman on this one. Tell me the Seven of Wands in a verse. Why can't, why don't, communication with the Seven of Swords, interesting. Oh boy. Okay. Why do they feel like they can't defend themselves? God, this person, this emperor is going through a lot of emotions right now. A lot of emotions. They feel really vulnerable. Time of the Seven of Wands in reverse. Wow, a lot of communication about this energy right here. The messenger is movement and communication. Oh, with the Nine of Cups, but wish fulfillment. Yeah, they, yeah. I'm, if they do communicate, if this emperor does talk to his feminine energy, it's going to be very vulnerable communication very vulnerable very honest very honest like i can't i can't hide this i can't hide this i need this like i need your help Ooh. i if i want what i want i need to invest in you Talk about seven of wands in reverse Talk about seven of wands in reverse for leo the first half of december <laughs> the heart love oh man knight of cups yeah this emperor has a lot of emotion for this um feminine energy overall we do have the moon with the eight of cups and the lilies lilies is a card of spirituality it's also a card of maturity and sexuality it usually indicates a very spiritual or even sexually charged connection and with the moon this might have been hidden they might not know how to talk about this. I still feel for a lot of you, this is business, okay? Like I said, this emperor cares a lot about this 10 of pentacles. It could be their own freaking business, okay? And like I said, Leah, they could be wanting to come to you if you're the nine of pentacles person because they have a lot of emotion for this 10 of pentacles and they need it. They need that shit to work because that is their baby. That is their project. That's their thing, you know, which is why their heart is in it their heart is in it but whatever they've been doing other whatever investment they've been putting time and money or energy into it hasn't been working and it's almost like that confession of okay 
I need you, Leo, to help me. I made a mistake. And that's really hard for this person to, that's really hard for this person to admit. They've got a little bit of pride, okay? Really hard to admit that. Um, but like I said, you could be the emperor, you could be the nine of pence, you know who you are. For some where, the, where others where this is just purely romantic, they're just watching the sign of pentacles person like, they're never going to let me in. They're never going to trust me. There wasn't energy being put into this nine of pentacles person for whatever reason or another, the other investment was declared a better investment, but it clearly wasn't if this person is so like, I need you nine of pence, please let me in. And this could be a communication of love and emotions and hidden emotions at that with the moon and the lilies. Mm. It's really tugging at my heartstrings. This emperor is really deep in their heart chakra, by the way. Really deep in their heart chakra. Let's go to pull some advice. From actually. Damn, I love both of these so much. Okay. I'm feeling pulled for the goddess deck for some reason. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to read the descriptions out loud because I really love the descriptions for the goddess deck. And I feel like sometimes when you read the description out loud to people, the the, the message hits home in another way. Because like sometimes it would the book would say it a different way than I would say it, just like using like some words. And sometimes they're words that just trigger people, you know? But yeah, with this one, I always like to read the descriptions. But let's go ahead and pull some goddess cards here. Any advice for my Leos? Any advice? Oh, sorry, they're pulling me into this. So with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups here, this emperor is like pretty damn convinced that this Nine of Pentacles person is not going to let them in. But Two of Cups, that feels pretty damn mutual to me of wanting to work with each other in a business sense or build with each other in some kind of way, or even if it's romantic, like it feels pretty mutual, pretty mutual. So emperors, if you're watching, give it a try. Give it a try. You might be surprised. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 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 Ooh, very nice. It shall. Medicine woman. Oh, I love that. That's healing, man. That is some major healing energy. You are a healing for divine. Wait, you are a channel for divine healing power. Uh, I need new glasses. I know. Waiting for my insurance to kick in. Then I'm gonna get new glasses. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? That's it. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and read that off. I might still use the animal deck just because I love it so much. Yeah, okay. It shall. Medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. Commanding power is not the same as demanding it. Demanding comes from... Ooh. Sorry, guys. Nasal chakra is open now. Demanding, co demanding comes from a childlike place akin to a tantrum based upon the fear that it might be withheld commanding is based upon the sure and steady knowledge that you are a part of the great spirit's grace and wisdom you're a lightning rod that can conduct the power simply connect to the power through unyielding clarity of your thought processes don't waver for a moment in your sure and steady decision to be a conduit of the power that already resides within you connect to the even bigger source and allow it to amplify your natural power in this way you're a steady connector of the infinite from the infinite and to the infinite in other words In other words, it's all spirit around you, through you, and to whomever you're healing. You're a healer. You're being healed. The situation and or your loved one is being healed. Honor your healing knowledge and abilities. Learn about healing. Teach the healing arts. Start or continue your healing practice. It shall has been revered since ancient times as the Mayan moon goddess, who with her husband, the sun god, gave birth to all the other Mayan gods. As the embodiment of the moon, it shall is intimately connected to the tides of the water. She's believed to control rain flow and all aspects of water. In fact, she's called Lady Rainbow, as her essence is infused in the water droplet prisms that create rainbows. As a mother goddess, it shall helps with fertility and childbirth. She's also a powerful healer who remembers the origin of human life upon the planet. She can connect you to your foundational roots as a spiritual healer. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the, I, feel, I feel like this situation probably does need a little healing here because clearly this Nine of Pence and King of Swords person, there's some healing needed for sure. I'd be shocked if these two didn't know each other. 
<laughs> so Leo, I'd be shocked if you didn't know this person, unless you're the person that's no longer being invested in, if, if this emperor dropped a person and not a thing, right? Um, I'd be shocked if you two didn't know each other, shocked. If you didn't, the only way I could see that being is if like this Knight of Pence is really in their own thing and not paying attention to anybody, but doing their own shit. And this emperor is just like not confident enough to be able to come in to just ask for this person's help, right? Or to introduce them and be like, look, here's my situation. I need this, that, or the other. That's the only way I can see this, this Knight of Pence being a new person to this emperor. But I think there's a long history here. I think there's a history here for sure. Okay. All right, well, I like that. I like those messages. Let's go ahead and pull some spirit animal cards and then I will wrap this up. Any other advice? Oh, these cards are getting a little worn. <laughs> Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Let's see here. Nice. Porcupine spirit. Time for beginner mind. 48. That breaks down to a three. Communication and working with other people. Taking on a new approach and a new idea. Yeah, very indicative of basically this whole read, right? This emperor is clearly understanding that what they've been investing in or who they've been investing in is not going to get them their ten of pentacles. It's not going to get them their long, excuse me, long-standing dream of security and stability. That can even just be the dream of the family they want, right? If this isn't business related, they understand that now. And it's like, okay, I know what my 10 of pentacles needs to look like and how I've been going about it is not the way I need to go about it. I need to change this shit up. And they're looking at a nine of pentacles person like, okay, they can get me there. Either they know what they're doing and they can help me in my business or my project or whatever it is I need to do, right? It could even be like a personal trainer, like to get you like your long standing security of health. You know, it could even be that. But okay, that person knows how to get me there, or that's the person I want to share a long standing foundation with in a romantic situation or a business situation. But either way, it's understanding what needs to be done and how things need to change. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, awesome. Know your worth with skunk spirit. 54, bring it down to a nine. So completions. Yeah, so like I said, understanding a different approach or a different way of doing things and how needed that is for this emperor to understand that. But knowing your worth, it's also knowing how to spend the time and what to spend the time in. What is actually valuable in getting to the end goal of the Ten of Pentacles? What's valuable? What should I put more stake in, right? This person I'm leaving behind, or, like, or the person I need to go to, or the thing I need to change about what I'm doing to get to my Ten of Pentacles. It's one or the other. Not everybody has, for those resonating with this, not all these emperors have someone that they're dealing with, okay? Some of them do. You probably already know my Nine of Pence people. Okay, but yeah, it's basically just knowing what is actually valuable to put into this Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Any other advice? Discernment, definitely using some discernment here. Any other advice for my Leos? Oh boy. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? We've got two more cards out here. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, my favorite card just came out. I know, I know. Some of y'all are sick of seeing that card, but I love that card. I love it. So we have Grasshopper Spirit, Take the Leap of Faith, 30 breaking down to a three, and Crow Spirit, Co-Create with Spirit, 17 breaking down to an eight here. So working with Spirit, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Grasshopper Spirit and Crow Spirit. This is basically... Trusting that trusting your intuition and trusting where you're guided to go. We did get a little bit of that with the star card, right? So this emperor really needs to, in order to manifest and get to that ten of pentacles, tap into their intuition, understand, understand where their instincts and their own intuition is pushing them to go, even if it's a risk. And sometimes taking a risk requires losing something 
losing what you've been working on or losing the person you've been investing in to get there, right? Maybe it's like, shit, I thought that'd be part of my manifestation, but they're not. I thought that thing would be part of my manifestation, but it's not, right? Trusting that. That's hard. That is a little hard. That's a little hard. And then we have, oh, oh, how funny. Jesus. Parrot spirit, watch your words. 45, breaking down to a nine. And otter spirit, you are never alone. 42, breaking down to a six. We do have mirror numbers here. Wait, yeah, we do. 54 in the 45. So this is kind of funny to me. It shouldn't be, but it kind of is. So otter spirit, as you guys know, a very awesome little connection is building here between this nine of pence and the emperor. I feel like this is what could be. I feel like these two could have this. They already have the two of cups. Beautiful. Beautiful energy, like in and of itself. But I feel like it can be really built upon. Now, the fact that Parrot is here, there's communication that has to happen between this Emperor and the Nine of Pence to actually make this change happen, get this shit going. It's about to make a second video. I'm going to have to stitch it. My apologies. We're going to lose a second, okay? I'll try to be careful about that. Anyway, oh, I almost want to wait it out, actually. <laughs> Should we just wait it out? No, no, I'm not going to wait it out. Well, I know it's happening like any second. I just, it's always a little different. Anyway, back to this. So this can be built upon, but a conversation has to happen. And with the fact that it's Parrot, it can go left really quick, okay? Depending on what's said here. Because like I said, this Emperor is looking at this feminine energy like, they're not going to trust me. They're not going to freaking trust me. How can I get in? What? How can I do this? No, maybe I just should, shouldn't try. I feel like this Emperor is going back and forth a little bit on how to approach this person, if to approach them at all. But I feel like it can be done. But there's something about being very careful in the approach and being very careful in the conversation. Oh, I did just hear blame. Oh, that's interesting. I did just hear blame. Um, my Nine of Pence people, if you're watching, there it is. My Nine of Pence people try to be open to this conversation, okay? Um, but my emperors, I really feel that you should try to avoid any blaming of anything. Yeah, try to avoid like, how do I say this? Avoid verbiage of cause and effect. You know, I feel like that's kind of uh, at play here. Like, I, w I would have chosen you or I would have invested in you sooner if blah, 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 blah. Yeah, don't go there. Don't go there. Just don't go there. There's no point in going there, right? If you were investing in someone else over this person. Um, or if it's this is just like I was doing this thing and I need to change this up and I need your help. Um, go about it carefully. Don't let pride get in the way. I feel like pride might come in the way for this emperor in this conversation. So essentially watch the pride and watch the words coming out of pride and ego when talking to each other. Even for my nine of pence. Because for them to feel like you're so closed off to them like this, mm, there's probably a little bit of a guard there for, for a reason. So maybe you're a little ticked off. Maybe you're a little bitter towards this person for whatever reason or another. Both of you just got to be really careful about the ego, man. Be very careful about this. Not to mention Mars is in Scorpio. We all should be watching our words right now. I know I'm trying to be better about that because I know I haven't been so good about that the last couple of days. But we should all be really good about that right now. Okay. Overall energy. Look at that. That is awesome. This is going to be a beautiful change, Emperors. A beautiful change. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Energy of 11. I'm also getting a big expansion energy off of this. You're going to get your Ten of Pence, Emperors. You're going to get the Ten of Pence that you want. Ten of Pence could just be a dream. You know, it doesn't have to be a home or a family or a business. It could even just be a dream that you want for yourself. But making this required change of investment from that person you're investing in or that thing you were doing or the way you're going about your Ten of Pentacles, changing that and taking on a new perspective and getting the help that you need from this Nine of Pence person or going to invest in this Nine of Pence person is really going to expand to that Ten of Pentacles energy that you really want, okay? So keep the faith. You're going to be fine, okay? You're going to be just dandy. Um, but this is definitely a need to change. Have that conversation. Be vulnerable. Don't, don't let your ego get in the way, please. Do not let your ego get in the way, people. Um, and hear each other out, especially my Nine of Pence people. Just hear this person out. You don't have to accept them. I've had this conversation so many times in the last few days. You don't have to. It's just the part of the energy we're in. You don't have to accept this person, okay? You don't have to, but just hear them out. Just hear them out, okay? All right, Leos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Namaste.